Hello everybody, MuseScript here, and today, I've not done this for ages, I am doing another Heart Shell commentary. Today, I'm going to be doing episode 6, which starts the first episode of the second arc, the second half of the audio drama, and it is the first episode to have HD options. Because I figured out I could do that on Windows Movie Maker, so that made me very happy. Um, yeah, so, as always, this episode was really fun to work on. There were a lot of twists and turns here and there. Oh yeah, and also, you probably noticed that at the start of the video, I have yet another new intro. It was made by one of my subscribers, Seraph Pilgro, and surprisingly enough, he drew the vectors by hand. I'm actually very, very surprised about that, and also pretty impressed by that as well. <laughs> um, yeah, so the credit goes to him for that for that intro that I'll be that I'll be using now. So yay! I don't really have that much to say, so let's just jump right into the episode in three, two, one, and play. Before I begin the episode, I just want to remind everyone that this audio drama is not canon to the original show. Yeah, so I just wanted to make that disclaimer errors, because, um, hold on. In a parallel universe. Anyway, that's all I want to say. Stick around and enjoy the episode. So, for those who haven't watched the episode, as always, it's probably wise that you watch the episode first before watching this. I feel like I have to repeat myself every single time. But, spoiler alert, so, um, the reason why it's, there's a, that disclaimer there is because, um, Rainbow Dash's mother appears in this episode, but this was back when I thought her mother was Firefly, not Windy Whistles as, like, the other, like, the original show. I would have changed it to Windy Whistles, but... Back in the very first episode, back in January, it actually had a picture of Firefly, so then I thought, oh, well, I can't really change it then. So, parallel universe for the win. And then this is the first episode of my little intro thing. Actually, that's the same music box medley melody melody from uh, the very first soundtrack that played in the Heart Shell in the very first episode, the intro of that. And so yeah, I have this new intro starting in the second half of the series. As you could probably notice, I had made a new title for it on Photoshop. A little customized title that I'd be using instead of the boring old pink font that I used for the other five episodes. And I am also introducing my new VAs, Dolphin with X, Popkick1001, and Flutterose VA as my Sweetie Belle, my Skooloo, and my Princess Luna. And then as always, I would be voicing all the other characters. In this episode, anyway. I, I'm glad I got that off my chest. I don't really have anything else to say right now. I'll just, I'll just wait until the actual episode starts. Do 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 do. I've listened to this theme way too many times. So, this pretty much follows directly after episode 5 ends, and it's focusing on the main six's point of view of the situation. And this is a new track. This track is called Gone, and it's another one of my favorite instrumental soundtracks. And of course, this is in a parallel universe from when episode 5 hadn't finished airing yet, so of course, Starlight Glimmer wouldn't have been reformed. 
etc. Yeah, all that, all that jazz. You know, there's Spike. He's he's reading a comic book. Power ponies. He's reading power ponies. Spike, the watch doesn't matter anymore. What? Why? You were making such a big deal about it yesterday. It doesn't matter anymore, okay? I really loved doing that line. Just with that stern attitude. And yes, Feels warning at the very start of the episode. And Pinkie Pie created distortion. How could you, Pinkie Pie? She's going to fight her demon fall. How was the being that sent her the watch? It said that the only way to cure Tank's illness is to destroy her, whilst we search for the cure. But with how powerful she is, I doubt she might have a chance of coming back. Twilight, you shouldn't have told Spike. He's just a child. You mean you're never gonna see Rainbow? Which actually reminds me. Yeah! <laughs> I should have used that dramatic fountain effect that I used back in episode one. <laughs> oh well, too late now. <laughs> Then there's the demon fall watching in her lair with her little screen. And this was also in the Ark 2 trailer as well. And it's very suspenseful. And this is the first time we actually see her face properly, kind of. Well, except for the Ark 2 trailer where you actually saw bits of her face anyway. I really love, I love voicing her. And then this is this is the footage from the preview that I had. Don't understand. What don't thou understand? So yeah, they're walking in the Everfree Forest, which of there there's so many trees that there's hardly been really any snow to cover. Like when we had the horde of changelings, I would have been okay to defeat them all by myself, no need to brag. Yeah, Rainbow would have defeated them all by herself. Princess Luna, as you probably remember. I had a dream where I fought changelings by myself without any problems, and you thought it was the cannabis. But in reality, I never would have done that by myself. But whatever do you mean? Oh yeah, so that's that Flutterrose VA. She is my Luna VA. Her Luna is way lower pitched than my Luna, and I'm actually very impressed about that because my Luna is really not that great. And, but then I decided to stick as Princess Celestia anyway, because I'm better at doing her voice. I know that. I just don't understand why my demon foe wants me to go in alone. It would have been more helpful if my friends were with me. Then we could fight the demon foe together, or at least go half and half for finding the cure. I struggled with that line. I was like, half and half, half and half, half and half. And also, drawing Celestia's eyes would almost be the death of me. Drawing Princess Celestia is really hard, in my opinion. Because she has such weird eyes. It's, it's very strange. We're just gonna fall against her power like that? We have no choice. Ah! I really love I how Flutter Rose did her lines in this scene. So this isn't the force she's been messing with. She's not on the step to Equestria itself. I hope you understand now. Kinda. I still don't like the looks of this. It seems too suspicious. Don't worry. We'll all keep our guard. In the meantime, we'll just have to flow with the river and not fight it. And that's the last time you see Rainbow Dash for a while we in this have episode. About 69 hours left until Tank succumbs. We have to act quickly. 69 hours? That seems like a long time to me. But hours can Oh, this scene was really funny. I just wanted some comic relief. An hour and, 60 seconds in a minute. and this is Twilight being completely nerdy at this place. 1440 seconds left. <laughs> Are you okay? I've never seen Twilight this stressed in a long time. Applejack! 
<laughs> I love I love that bit. That bit was funny. Whatever you're looking for. What are you looking for? More information on demon foals, but nothing. Well, Twilight has read every book in her library, so it would be a bit hard to actually find new information. Maybe not. What are you talking about? I have an idea. Well, go on, darling. Show us your idea. Little Twinkie, please do not cry. Now. I told you that's not the right subject. And then the demon fall appears that again. Isn't real. I guess you still have three lives. Now, what do you want? What are shy? Why did you summon her? How did you summon her? I'll explain later. Now, for some reason, you've been giving us hints to the riddle. Do you suppose you could help us find the other things? The rainbow got a stone and the herb? <laughs> Sorry, I haven't been saying much in this at the moment, but I really love the demon foal's face here. She's just really fed up, just really annoyed. And and Rarity's eyes were very <laughs> fun to draw. <laughs> I just need to get rid of this Skype. <laughs> Skype sometimes annoys me. Well, actually, it doesn't. It doesn't annoy me. But I'll take care of that later. <laughs> yep. And that is Dolphin Wave X's drawing that I altered a bit to fit Fluttershy in. It was kind of like a flashback. She even said so. So what do we do now? Oh, I love their expressions here. Oh, and I love what I did with the music. It, it's an effect on Odessi where it's just kind of slide pitch shift. And it's really funny. And also Spike is really confused. It's just what? Yes, that. This track is called State of Plan, and it's like this little military thing that I composed. It actually was a recycled thing that I had um, from something I composed a couple of years ago. I don't really remember what it was, but yeah. I don't usually use percussion and brass, so this was a bit of a change of pace. Oh yeah, the walkie-talkies. That's just a balloon, and then that's like an orange apple thing. And of course, I mentioned before in something previous, I draw chibi heads when usually I'm like, ugh, I can't be bothered drawing the rest of the body, let's just draw the chibi heads. And Spike's crush, crush on Rarity is still a thing in this. And then we have Twilight and Fluttershy who are going to be finding the song. Well, yes. Fluttershy would be looking after Tank, who's still unwell, obviously. And that is very typical of Twilight. She would definitely be one to try and look at something and try to decode it. Yeah, cause cause Fluttershy hid Tank away, so the Demonfall wouldn't see Tank. Oh yeah, and now we have the art of Dolphin Wave X. She only did like about two pictures in this, but it was still really cute. I really love her style. She, uh, let's see. Last time, I'm just trying to think. She drew some shipping art of me and my new friend Peacock Studios, who I've been having Skype chats for a long, well, not really a long time, but quite a while, a couple of weeks. And yeah, that was the first time my OC had actually been shipped with someone. <laughs> um, so P Script is our OC ship name. Anyway, I'm going off topic. I was talking about Dolphin Wave X. Um, this is the first time I have drawn Zakora. 
and there were actually ponies in that background before, so I had to edit them out using my amazing Photoshop skills. And also, it was really hard coming up with Sakura lines because she she always talks rhyme exactly. Although she does break her rhyme in Brighter Discord, which I was very amazed about. Well, nothing rhymes with cultures of like vulture. Vulture has no relevance whatsoever. But <laughs> be like ultra fast pony who just kind of gives up with trying to rhyme. No, Spike just wants to spend time with Rarity. That's all. That's all he wants to do. Yep. Rarity just cares about lines. That's all. That's all she cares about. Spike just blushing like that. That's funny. Oh, yeah. This. Ca oh, hold on. Ah. Uh, why? Why would I be getting Skype calls whilst I'm doing a commentary? I don't know. That was probably Peacock. Anyway, getting back on topic. That picture was really fun to draw. It was like, ah, no, I don't want to split up. It was, ah. Oh, then I loved, I loved doing this bit too. That I I like said that line twice whilst I was trying to record it because I really loved that line. Such a situation that was really hard to say. And then we have Pinkie Pie, which is a really another, another well, really I funny scene. Meals from Applejack. Maybe she isn't doing so well. Maybe the plant is actually in Ponyville, out in the open. La, 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 la. Wow. These are pretty. And then we have yeah, the first so vocal appearances of Dolphin Wave X and Pupcake1001. Pinkie Pie has a sister? And these are what the stones eventually look like. They were mentioned first in episode 4, but then I didn't really draw the art for that scene. Zoe Aris did, who was like one of my one-time artists in episode 4, along with Ruby Inc. 37. Oh yeah, and, and then Sweetie Belle's crush on Butter Mash. <laughs> well, share these with. Share these with, but whatever. And Dolphin Wave X's Sweetie Belle voice was so cute. I was like, "Oh, it's so adorable." And then Scooby and Pinkie Pie, not Pinkie Pie, Apple Bloom, they're just really cheeky. I important mission. I don't have time for this. Important mission. Oh my god, Scootaloo's face was amazing! <laughs> it's like one of those anime expressions. And that plant looks like a demented palm tree. What's going on? Help me! Hang on, Sweetie Bell! We've got you! Pinkie Pie, help! And then, dun dun dun! The plant was the plant she was looking for! Ah! And then she uses her tail to get the plant, and it actually turns out to be pretty tiny. I mean, I was, I was going to have some bouncy sound effects, but I couldn't find any. <laughs> Oh yeah, I love that line. That line was really funny. I gotta tell Applejack. Hey Applejack, guess what? What? I got the plant. And then the demon fall comes out of both walkie-talkies, being creepy as as ever. Well, we're not in charge of that. I know that you fool. And then Spike. So we cut back to Spike and Rarity. I really loved this scene. This scene was really funny. Ugh, my code name is the 
you're brave and glorious. And two, you're supposed to say over after you speak into a walkie-talkie. Well, I don't read that many mystery comics like you, Bag. Well, no, she doesn't read any mystery comics, but then that doesn't stop her from reading mystery novels. No, poor Spike. <laughs> uh, yeah, Peacock commented, hashtag, Spike is best bag. That was like one of the first comments on the episode, and I'm like, uh, oh my god, yes! <laughs> that, that scream was quite loud, but oh well. Then there's the rainbow goddess stone in all its glory, just sitting there. And I love speaking in that Somehow. tone of voice with Rarity. It doesn't seem to be working. Ah, uh, yeah, Maud Pie reference. Because it was actually probably Sandstone instead. That is a very good question. <laughs> and then there's the demon ball again. Oh yeah, that line was a reference to Al's well that ends well, because that's one of the lines that he says when he was like, looking at Aloysius, like, Well, dude, that's creepy. And then we get off to Twilight Sparkle, and then we have one of those anime expressions. T-T-D-D-E-G-G. Oh, thou? I was taking the last letter of each sentence. She said she tried singing the lullaby, but it made things worse. Maybe I guess this is where things start to get a little bit confusion, <laughs> confusing for people watching it for the I first time. The riddle, but it doesn't make any sense. What do you mean? I took the first letter from each sentence. It spells lullaby, but that can't be right. You even said yourself that the lullaby wasn't the cure. Oh my god, that expression on Fluttershy was amazing. The last time I drew love hearts in her eyes was probably back in episode one. And then this picture, oh my god. <laughs> Peacock was here, lol xd zen derp. That was pretty much an in-joke that me and Peacock had. She wanted to be in the episode in some way, so then I was like, okay, you graffitied on Twilight's castle wall. So... She was very, very happy about that. How can I help you? And then there's there's Hi, Firefly. Fluttershy, Philly friend of Rainbow Dash. Oh, Fluttershy! I haven't seen you in ages. How much you have grown! Come in. I didn't even know what kind of voice I was coming up with when I was, you know, doing Firefly. I just pitched it down a semitone so it would actually sound older. Wow. I guess Rainbow Dash wasn't the only one in your family to like the Wonder Bolts, huh? Yes. This is a new soundtrack in the series. This is called Wings. And this was also another recycled composition I had back, uh, four, three years ago. I'm still trying to remember where it was from. I think it was from, like, a little anime that I was doing or something. Probably. I don't know. I can't really remember. So, what brings you to visit, Fluttershy? You know that Rainbow Dash has a pet tortoise, right? Oh, yes. She wrote about that in her letters. How is he doing? Well, actually, so yeah, you probably didn't actually see it, but Fluttershy was carrying a tank in her bag. But yeah, she took took him with her. Song she sang after they met, along with a herb and a stone. When Rainbow Dash first got Tank, we created a lullaby for him to help him get to sleep. We used the lullaby you sang to her. I was wondering if I could find out how the rest of that song went. Can you please ever ask me how the 
And this was pretty much the reason why I didn't showcase a preview of the song in the trailer. It was going to be a surprise because it would actually be a massive spoiler. I had a really good concept of what the music video would be. Instead of her just singing the lullaby, there would actually be flashbacks of her singing the lullaby to Rainbow Dash. And it would just be an ultimate feels trip for, for people. Although my singing was not the best that day. I tried. I really tried. <laughs> And then there's Rainbow Dash's baby with a pacifier. She is really, really cute. I, I have to admit, she's adorable. Actually, that's not the first time I've drawn M MLP, newborn fillies, foals, whatever. That's also a really cute picture with the dot eyes. I make it look cute. I make it look adorable. And then that's Rainbow Dash when she was five. She is with her mother and father, and she's watching her first Wonderbolt show. That's what the shadows are in the background. It was a bit hard to sing this song because it did go quite high, but then again, I do have a wide range. And then, then this was when Rainbow Dash was 10. She, it was the day that she got a cutie mark. And so she bumps her mother. It's like, I got a cutie mark, yay! Something like that. And then Rainbow Dash is a teenager by then. She's a full grown mare. And then it dies down to just vocals and piano. And this is the day when Rainbow Dash goes to live in Ponyville and she leaves her parents behind. When that time comes, Dashie, don't forget me. For I will always love you. And then it flashes back to the present day. That was Since I only had a couple of pictures to draw, I, I was thinking, oh, let's just draw them in chibi I'm head sure style. Thanks again. And that's supposed to be a fireplace. I failed. I failed at drawing the fireplace. I, j I tried. I tried. That's odd. Why does my bag feel lighter? Oh well, I'm sure it's nothing. Fluttershy, you really shouldn't Fluttershy say that. Told me what the song was. Twilight! We have the plant! That oh, even wonderful. sounded a bit tame so in Pinkie Pie's standard. We also have the beautiful gem. You guys too? Well, Fluttershy just needs to come back and we'll be complete. Twilight, I found the song. Yeah. Yes! Fluttershy wrote it down on a manuscript. <laughs> Very quick indeed. She was observing information. Oh my god. Spike. Just just Spike in this picture. I am not sorry. I really love drawing that picture as well. With the lightning bolt and the dramatic shadows and Pinkie Pie. <laughs> Pinkie Pie's face was so funny. The demon fall is a sneaky back. devil. You didn't think I let you win so easily. I was just driving you in that direction for my own amusement. You should see the looks on your faces. But you helped us. Why must you do this? For my own amusement, I am the bad guy here. You meanie, big, dumb meanie! Why, thank <laughs> you. But I don't mean any compliments right now. I need to finalize my plan. To get in Rainbow's way next. And then can't stop. stop, stop, stop. <laughs> Tink! What should we do? This is all my fault. And then that is where the episode ends.
to be continued. So yeah, that was the first episode of the first, the, I mean the second arc. And then we have a difference in credits. We have cast in order of appearance because I'm not the only voice actor in this. I did voice a lot of characters in this. And then we have Flutter Rose for years, Princess Luna, Dolphin Wave Axes, Sweetie Belle, she did a really good job. And Pupcake1001 is Skooloo. And then, as always, this Muse Script in Dolphin Wave X. Um, and I'm talking really fast like this, just so I, I don't really know. I don't really know why I'm talking fast like this. Um, yeah, so, previously on the hospital, go and watch all of those, all of those um, soundtracks. Yay. Okay, so, that was episode 6 of The Heart Shell, and that was, that was really fun to work on, and yeah, there were a lot of cool drawings that I did for that, uh, there were some funny scenes, there were some sad scenes, there were some evil scenes, but when the series progresses, there will be more epicness coming your way, so keep your eyes peeled. So, let's see. The next thing I'll probably be uploading, well, I'm not really sure. I'd need to check check my schedule, but I do know for sure that the um the next uh commentary I have, the next heart shell commentary, I'll it will be the 29th of July, so the Saturday after episode seven airs. Um, yeah, so I don't really have that much else to say except. This is Muscript signing out. Bye!